Hey there everyone, welcome back to Diabetic Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Um, we're gonna go right into our file here. Uh, we're on win streak of 10, I know these are just normal, again we're gonna get to hard later. Um, we just unlocked Kane last episode I believe, so we're gonna go ahead and play him because he has nothing done. Nothing done. Um, eventually we need to do Blue Baby, but that is not unlocked yet, so here we go. Actually, I think we did unlock him. Did, was he not there? He might have been there, and I just totally passed him. We'll eventually do him too, because we need to in order to unlock uh, D6 and stuff. Because in order to unlock the D6, you have to kill Isaac with the blue baby. Um, yeah, so that's something we're going to do. Uh, Kane's pretty good. He has a pretty good damage multiplier and nice speed, and he's lucky! And rather lamb, he could he had really good pills. It's almost like a PhD. But not in this game. Oops, I should not have gotten hit there. I don't think that this is uh, an XL for us, so we should be fine. Pick up less than three, which is going to be a health up. And I'm not going to take the heart there, because I don't need increased heart drops. I really don't. Um, normal mode has enough heart drops as it is. And generally, I shouldn't be hit anyways. Um, so yeah, don't need more hearts. See, look, look at that. I don't need to increase the chance of those. They're just going to come to us. And the main goal is just not to get hit, so. Hopefully all of you guys are doing great. I know I'm having a pretty good day today. I had a nice stream. It went really well. Don't want to jinx anything, but our Eden hard mode win streak is doing well on stream. We're up to uh, 89 hard mode Eden runs in a row without death. It's not bad. It's pretty, it's pretty solid. Um, so, excited for that. I believe that I'm gonna open the chest. I was expecting a soul heart there, that was not a soul heart, so I'll just uh, open it up. And let's go back, try to find our item room, because apparently we have passed it up. We get a free two bombs, which will be great as we go ahead and go ahead and blow up another tinted rock. And that is a soul heart. Uh, we get a quarter here, which is very nice. We can go to our shop now. Um, we do have a key for that, and there's a key sitting outside as well, so that is good news. I will, I should, I mean, normally you should, if you're kind of optimizing things, don't take the solar art until after the floor is complete, because you really need to protect your red heart damage for next floor. However, I really don't think I, um, am going to take that much damage. I'm going to go ahead and put a few coins into this, maybe up to 180. And possibly save my money for next floor, where we can buy a better item. I mean, the uh, boomerang is nice and all, but it is not what we need. Or one, rather. Um, let's go fight the boss. Fighting Monstro. I mean, if you don't think you're gonna get hit, then you can feel free to take the swords as early as you want. I just... I don't... I, don't, I didn't think I was gonna get hurt. I know this was the basement, which has easier bosses than, like, the cellar. And as such, I decided to just pick up the sword immediately. Now, if I get hit, then that's my mistake. Then we have an increased chance or decreased chance to get a devil deal. Next floor, we don't have a soul heart because if you get hit instantly, you lose that uh, take red heart damage. So I mean, you don't decrease your devil deal chance by losing the soul heart, but having the soul heart there is a blanket protection. Is basically what I'm getting at. Uh, the monster's going down pretty easily. One of the bosses that kind of stay, stay the same from Wrath of Lamb to uh, Rebirth. Health up is perfectly fine, soul heart's amazing. We're at four red hearts, two soul hearts. Going on to the next floor. We are very healthy, we can definitely afford a devil deal. If we were to find that, arcade's great, we've unlocked the game kid. And I don't really need more money, so instead I'm gonna play this guy. And uh, see if I can get him to pay out. With pills, I will take pills, because generally there's not much that can hurt us right now. Uh, pheromones. Bombs are key. That's not bad. We can go to our shop and our uh, shop and item room now. Because we have two keys. I will take the rest of my soul hearts, go in here, pick up two more black hearts. Those will, uh, upon losing them, do the Necronomicon effect, dealing 40 damage to everything in the room. This item room has a dark bomb. He will pick up red hearts and in turn give us soul hearts. He's pretty okay. He will definitely protect you. I mean, I generally don't need him, but he's not bad to have, for sure. Our pills were not that good, so I'm not going to buy that pill first. I'll just buy the soul heart. 
And if there was a key, I would definitely buy that. Let's put in a few more coins here. Okay, that is as much as we can do for the rest of the game. And that is perfectly fine. The reason why I say you don't need Dark Bum is, is if you don't get hit, you'll never need him, right? I mean, he's really good, though. He really is. He'll provide you a lot of life. Didn't mean to bad talk Dark, dark Bum. He's excellent. I would just prefer damage, you know? Like, uh, knife. Um, any damage ups, really. But with those, like, double red hearts, he's definitely gonna provide a lot of soul hearts. It's just more of a reason why we shouldn't uh, lose the run at this point in time. Battery, nice! We can charge our space ride item. It is empty. Actually, we don't even have a space ride item, so that won't come into use. Um, it's pretty though. No Tindarok, so we're on fighting Dingle. Deal's pretty easy. He does have set stages where you can tell where, what he's going to do. Um, don't know how to describe his face to you, but he definitely has like things that you can see what he's doing, and you know how to kind of react. And uh, he's a very patterned boss. Initially, I didn't think I was going to like him um, when they first kind of announced him prior to Rebirth being released, but after playing this so much, he really is one of the easier bosses, in my opinion, once you have the pattern down. Uh, if you don't have a pattern down, then I can understand the frustrations. But I'd rather fight him than, say, the Haunt, for sure. Uh, Mom's Lipstick is a 5.25 range up, 0.5 to your height up. In the Devil Deal, we have two pieces of Guppy, which I will definitely take. I'm going to take this first as well, since the Dead Cat sets you to one Red Heart. Which means I should paw once and then take that. So we are two pieces of guppy, which is really nice. One more piece, and then we, uh, one more piece, and we become guppy, which is awesome. We'll get the appearance of a cat, and uh, the ability of, we will gain flight, that ability. We'll also uh, spawn a couple of flies with every hit upon an enemy that'll deal twice our damage. Uh, we also picked up missing or contract from below, which will increase our odds for double boss rooms, not like... XL floors, but those uh, double bosses, like double fallen or double, uh, double everything, um, double peep. Um, in turn, it, it'll give us double drops in rooms. So if we got a drop, it would uh, spawn two of them on the floor: two chests, two hearts, etc. Um, I do want that. I think that's pretty good. Humble bundle, humble bundling, humbling bundle is what I meant. Um, it's gonna make it so that if we get if one bomb drops, it's like one of the you get two, and then you get two keys and two red hearts. Overall, just like that, it works really well with contract from blow. You can get a lot of consumables that way. Um, black beam, black beam, not a beam, but a bean. Uh, we'll make it so that when we get hit, we fart on enemies, and it is pretty much the best item in the game. It's awesome. It basically is the reason why we're going to win now. I have zero worries about this run. Not the guppy, but totally the black bean that has me sold on it. A lot of consumables. I got hit. That's okay. See, look at what I, I was telling you guys that. We won because of the black bean. That was kind of a bad dodge on my part. Double chests, double coins. I mean, really, we're gonna get a lot of consumables. Broken Ankh is when we die. We have ch a chance to spawn as the blue baby. I can see what's in this chest, at least. I can even get the keys from it, so that really was a worthwhile bomb. Don't need that. It's gonna make our uh, tears like hook a little bit, which is really bad when you're trying to aim at enemies. Uh, it's good if you're just kind of playing around, if you're trying to win, or aim correctly, that does make things more challenging. With Brim, it's kind of cool. Uh, we've been to our item room, we've been to our shop, so we're pretty much good to go.
There's no tinted rocks here, which have to fight this maw. Which I will get hit several times by the candle, I guarantee it, I'm just not good at dodging it. I can try my best. And I will always get hit by it. If I don't, it might be the first. Ah, see? I got hit. That's right, I did an okay do job dodging at, at this fight. Another health up! That's great! If only we could get some damage, and then we, we'd be better off, I think. Um, this seems like a pretty evident spot for where the secret room's gonna be. Could be wrong based on the other surroundings, but I forget what the other, uh, other rooms were. So that was not it, but I just saw that and was like, hey, I might as well check real quick. And then we'll just hop onto the next floor. See what we get there. Catacombs too. Kinda wanna check that uh, boss room thing out, but that's okay. This is going to be a one damage up and a three black hearts. It's pretty nice. That could have been Guppy. I had to check. It was very tempting. I mean, that could have been our Guppy, the red chest that could solve all of our problems. I was counting on it, but it was not there. Not the right thing. We're gonna very slowly get through this room. At least the, we got the one damage up before doing this entire room. And yes, I did kind of waste the ball where we pot away three soul hearts and gained nothing. Um, I guess we gained a half soul heart, room, but really, it wasn't optimal. But at the same time, it is optimal in the sense that I can uh, go in this room, and that could have been Guppy. Just put away the maps. So there's a little bit more uh, focus on the enemies there. Fighting the hunt. And in general, probably before the boss stuff, or before the devil deal, if we get a devil deal, I will paw away a heart. Because what if it is like three devil deal items that are all like one or two red hearts each? Then I won't be able to take them all. However, if I'm all soul hearts, I can afford all the devil deals, so. Even though it might not be beneficial at the time, I don't know how many, how many hits I'm going to take on this floor. I should definitely paw away my last red heart before the devil deal if we get one. Uh, if I don't, then I'll save it for a future floor. Nine keys, I'm definitely going to the item room and the double key room. Mr. Mega's not bad. It's going to give us five bombs, or bombs will now do increased bomb damage. And it's pretty good. Pretty good. And into this room we go. I don't really want to play him, so I'm not going to. Uh, eventually, we will have to play him 100 times, and that's going to be great fun for us. Uh, that will unlock the counterfeit penny. Yeah. So we need to do it sometime, but not, not today is not the day. Not feel like we need to gamble. I feel like we're having a one run that gambling is not going to help. These are these are great. I just have no use for the additional soul hearts. Uh, Dark bomb. Uh, speed down. I don't think I'm gonna take the other one. I'll pass on that. Mask of infamy will make it so that when we get hit from any direction, it has a chance to block it here. There's options, it's definitely really good. It's gonna give us two boss um, items when we clear or uh, when we finish the boss room. Um, that includes, includes boss rush, where you complete the entire thing. And uh, you get two items at the very end, so. We'll see what I mean when we fight our next boss. It's gonna be awesome. We'll get more choices, hopefully not just a health up now. We'll get like, magic mushroom and Jesus Juice, a 0.5 damage up, 0.25 range up or something. Something that's better than uh, health up will do us right now. I'm just gonna blow that up so I have a little more room to uh, maneuver. 
It's not like these are hard enemies, but I have quite a few bombs. And we're going to get more because of the Humble Bundle plus the uh, contract from below. There's going to be a lot of bombs to be had soon. Dark one's not bad. Oh, that's not fair. I mean, it's, it's totally fair, by the way. I say it's not fair just because he moved, but he anticipated. He's really good. Uh, we did have a speed down, so I'm going to take my uh, wooden spoon for a 0.3 speed up. The other one was stem cells for a 0.16 shot speed up and a health up, which is also not needed. No devil deal, so no need to pop my heart right now. We'll go on to the next floor. I'm, I'm going to start thinking about uh, using the bombs or key pill just to get myself more bombs if need be. Acropolis 1. A little bit harder than the depths, but not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to use bombs or key to get my 10 bombs, then take up those or, uh, keys, rather. Just because I need more bombs. We were getting a lot of keys, but not the, the bomb drops we desire with um, Dr. Fetus. Not Dr. Fetus, Mr. Mega. More. Okay, so number 10 and 10, we're even. This is an Excel floor, isn't it? No, it's not. I always get confused when I see the double rooms like that, because Rathalam had it in that way, where if you saw those, you automatically knew it was going to be a um, XL, and this game, it's, you really don't. I really don't. And we're going to take care of these greeds. Not really greeds, but... Well, this looks like a very fun path. I'll use my bombs to get over there, because there that's enough keys for me to, to open that chest for sure, and I get some stuff back. That actually paid for itself, so I, I don't mind. See our shop here with 30 coins, we can definitely afford anything inside if it's not green. Slowly, we'll uh, work through this room. Dark Realms are gonna love this. Nice. Uh, broken stopwatch, I don't really need. I forgot what the pill was. I don't know if we've taken it yet. So I can buy it and I do know it. And we do not need it right now. And there's that double boss room that I was talking about that we can sometimes get with contract from below. If you also have a book of rev and you try to use it right now to try to guarantee yourself a horseman, this would not be a horseman. Can't be. Which is one of the things that could stop you from getting like a cube of meat, or not, yeah, cube meat to complete your, like a uh, bandage ball or, um, little meat boy. And we have so much health on the floor, he doesn't, I mean, this is great and all, but it's, it's not necessary. We do need to go to our item room, we haven't gone there yet. Hollow's not bad. Man, Fairbones, just, it just seems like a good room for it. It, it was. It destroyed several of the layers. Uh, I'm going to take this for 0.7 tiers up, 0.16 shot speed up. Same as the toothpicks. Really good item. I, the other one was a uh, HP up 1%. I'm going to pop my paw just to, uh, just in case if it was several devil deals that were red hearts, I could take them all. I'll find Krampus, though. He could drop us Lump of Coal or the Krampus head. I wasn't expecting that. Krampus head's really good. We don't really need the paw. So I'm gonna take it. It's gonna kill a lot of bosses really fast, so. I probably won't pick up another health up for the rest of the game, just because it's not necessary. Ah, oh, no. I was thinking about using the, the uh, Krampus head here, even, but. I can save it for a bigger room if we find it later. And that one works for me. Tinted rock. There's greed, so we're not going to get greed in our shop, but we already knew that because we've already visited the shop on the map. Greed has a chance to drop the seam sale. If it's the same chance as in Wrath of Lamb, it'd be a 25% chance for the seam sale. Uh, the less of three is also a 25% chance from Lutney in Wrath of Lamb. 
I'm assuming those chances got carried over to this game because a lot of things were copy pasted. Um, not so much copy pasted, but they were transferred. Um, two golden chests I will actually do. Uh, it's an easy room. We could have gotten Guppy's head from this room. From the golden chest. It is in the uh, golden chest pool, which would have been really nice. And this pill is... I found pills, which does nothing. It just kind of makes that noise, and that is all. And this is not the way to our item room. If you were wondering, this would be incorrect. Let's head on out of here. Grab the extra bombs. And as, it, as, I'm, as I said before, consumables look great. 50 coins, 28 bombs, 14 keys. It's amazing. But uh, still looking for item room stuff. Am I a wizard? I hope not. I don't really need these keys. I can take them though. I like how Kane with the eye patch only shoots one direction, so it'll be easier to see where you're shooting at. And Cricket's body is really good. It's gonna be minus 10 from your range. And uh, 0.16 tiers up. And on top of that, we're gonna get the uh, kind of splatter effect. It's gonna go, it's gonna go in four, di four different directions upon hitting an enemy or hitting the floor or hitting a rock. And it's actually really good. Uh, DPS wise, it's excellent. Go to the next floor. It is a shame that Kane kind of was nerfed in this in this game by um instead of like in uh Wrath of Lamb, you had good pills always. In this game he doesn't get that anymore, because Lucky Foot doesn't do that. However, it is pretty good still. Um He still has his damage multiplier, which is nice. If we were gonna we might as well use it there. There is no reason not to. See, it's a shame. I really wish that was Guppy. We have, like, the build for Guppy. We have all these tiers. But then again, I go after Guppy every single run. It's not a surprise that I'm kind of, again, wanting, wanting more pieces of my cat. In the old game, you used to be able to lock in Monster 2. In this game, you cannot, so... A little bit more challenging than he was, but really, he's not bad. We have so many bombs, I should use them a lot more effectively, or more in general, I think. And this is the hollow. With the boom flies. More hearts. More keys, and there's the shop. So, uh, even just because greed was in the secret room last floor does not mean that greed uh, is not going to be on this floor. I know in Wrath of Lamb it was that if greed was on previous floor, you cannot find him in this floor. This is no longer true. Uh, we'll take Mom's key, which is less is more. Uh, we get two keys, and generally when you open chest, you get a lot more drops from it. It's really good. Uh, we really have all the consumables we could possibly want, so it's interesting. Uh, this is Depths to you, so we need to go back for item before we fight this boss, because this is going to be Mom's foot. And although we're going to kill it really fast because of the Krampus head, um, we still need to go to our item room, otherwise when we are finished fighting the Mom fight, we cannot go back to you get our item room. Oops. Did not see him. And the last one, then we go into our item room, and we find Dead Sea Scrolls! So good! Fun using it as a random, random spacebar effect. We just use the shovel, so we could skip this floor. But we are not here to skip floors, we are here to go fight the mom fight to hopefully get a devil deal, which will then give us Guppy. Or get it back. 
So here we, here's, here we go. Oops, I did it wrong. That's okay, gave me a heart back. No devil deal, but we can take our negative. And go down. Negative is going to be when we're at a half red heart or less. Upon uh, getting hit, we will do the Necronomicon effect. I like how most of our damage was pretty much off the first few floors, wasn't it? What did we get? Um, I don't see any damage. <laughs> we got tier raid. I know we picked up one damage up somewhere. We got the cloak. Yeah, uh, that's one damage up. And then we got the cricket's body. That's pretty much all we have. Which is totally, totally fine. It's just a winnable run, but it's uh, interesting. More bombs. We're at 34 bombs, 22 keys, and 45 mulas. It's guaranteed devil deals from here on out, which is great! It's gonna let us go to Shoal, and it's gonna give us this devil deal here, guaranteed. I was almost gonna play the Demon Judge, but I realized we didn't have the Polaroid, which means we uh, can't play him with our Polaroid proc, which is then not worth it. I know that's a lot of hearts for a demon, for uh, Dark Bomb here. It's just we don't need them. We really, it's nice. It's a nice gesture. We just don't need them. I should probably run into more enemies so that we can take advantage of all the hearts we have. As you can tell, chests are have a lot of uh, things in them now. It's because of Mom's key. So there is seven soul hearts on the floor. That is a lot of soul hearts. A lot. And that is not going to be guppy for sure. Those are just gray chests that will just contain drops, and those will be lovely. Those will definitely not have the guppy that we desire, or any item for that matter. And going up. I should blow up these though, because these will eventually unlock the D4 for us. If you keep blowing them up, you have to blow up 40, no, 30 in your game in order to unlock the D4. Let's see what we get. We don't get Guppy. But we get Gimpy, which will give us a chance to spawn a Soul Heart upon getting hit. Um, Soul Heart or Black Soul Heart. Uh, Sister Maggie, which will give us 5 damaging familiar that'll shoot with us. And packed for 0.5 damage up, 0.7 tears up, two soul hearts. And uh, I'm gonna take the uh, whatever one. Um, flight is so good. I'm just gonna take flight. Um, flight is excellent. It's also 0.5 speed up. I'm gonna go back and get the uh, soul hearts that we left behind because there's seven of them, which means we can get back to full hearts, which is amazing. I will take this over Krampus because flight is really good. It allows us to kind of run over the rocks if I needed to do anything. Um, it's very safe. Uh, Krampus was only getting used like once per floor anyways. And uh, generally flight is very useful, especially for an entire floor rather than just one use of a Krampus head. When we do here is an arcade, that is great because I can go in here and blow up two of these machines, getting us closer to that 30 to lock the D4. I will take this as well, the broken remote. Because it's nice to be able to teleport. Just by hitting the space bar item, we can teleport away, because that is a dead end and we don't need to be there. One of the amazing parts about this item is if you have, like, a piece of paw, uh, you can make it so uh, you can indefinitely teleport. You can just keep putting hitting your space bar item until you arrive at the boss, which is really nice. Um, that is a health up, which we do not want, because that would ruin our negative proc, which again is when we were hit at half a red heart or less, we uh, do 
do 40 damage to every enemy in the room, which is really solid. It adds up, especially when you have 12 hearts in the last boss. It's really good. The good news about going all the way to the lamb, or the dark room, is uh, we get to open four red chests upon getting there. Those, those will hopefully contain our guppy. Explosive diarrhea and another bombs are key. I like my bombs, so I'll keep them. Generally, I don't use the space bar item um, unless I'm going to be using the uh, broken remote, anyways. Uh, this space bar item is just not that useful. Mom's heart. Finished. There's another sword if we really needed it. We are going to be dropping down to Shul though. Giving him a good visit. It lives. Your future awaits. We unlock challenge number four. Unlock challenge number seven. Again, we should probably do some of those challenges soon. I really think we're going to do that. So we are just going to travel through Shul. Hopefully arriving at Satan soon. Okay. Dark Bomb is, is even healthy this run. I mean, uh, two slots and a spider's not too bad. I will definitely go into this curse room hoping to get my guppy! Now, normally I would teleport away with my um, pony and the remote so I don't take damage, but there's two slots right here. Are we not guppy? We have two pieces, am I wrong? No, we, we're guppy. We are guppy. So every uh, hit upon an enemy will spawn a fly. We look or have the appearance of a cat. Our slight appearance, and we can fly, which we could fly now anyways with the pony, but the pony will still provide that uh, speed boost. So I'm just gonna teleport. Sloth is not a bad fight. We can get a tarot card or uh, Bob's Rotten Head. Hanged Man gives you double flight, which will allow you to fly above enemies and cannot be hit. We'll be using this on Shul, or Satan, so that none of his hits could possibly hit us. Oops. Got it. We spawn a spider. Okay, so again, we will pop the hangman so that none of none of his uh, shots can now hit us, and none of them. We actually can't get hit. Oh man, it didn't work. We must need triple flight. Triple flight was probably it. Once you have triple flight, then, then, then you can't get ahead. Black card's fine. Onwards to uh, the dark room. We already have the uh, guppy, so. Bomb bag has appeared in the basement. Very cool, I like that item. So we could get more guppy pieces here. We could get more troll bombs. We can't get nothing. Bombs are keys. I feel happy when I use the pill, and he looks happy, so I'll use him. And let's just teleport. This is the path we are going, the remote detonator has declared. Oh, I got hit. Oopsie. That's not good. Oopsie daisy! I dodged bad. Kind of surprised. I really thought I was going to head right over the guy by going up. It's okay. I think we'll live. I think this might be a one run, but don't tell anyone. Don't want them to get any ideas about this run. Ooh, these are items. Uh, this is a 0.3 damage up, 0.2 shot speed up, and that is going to be homing bombs. Or Baba bomb. And we are just wrecking through. Oops, thank you, Masco and Fee, for blocking that tier for me. Mm 
We found our boss. Double chest, we get Spoonbender, which is homing, and Dry Baby, which will block tears and, and do the Necronomicon effect upon doing so. Masking Ruby just blocked all of those. Not really blocked all of them, blocked one, but still looked funny. And there we go! Done! All right, Abel has appeared in the basement. That is a great item. It's probably one of the most powerful ones in the game. Um, I can only hope we get it next run. So there, where, there we have it. We are on a win streak of 11. Um, just completed those areas with Kane, which is pretty cool. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I know I did. And uh, yeah, if you ever want to check me out live, I do stream live on Twitch as a streamer at www.twitch.tv forward slash diabetic. Uh, you also find that link down in the description along with my Twitter um, for updates when I go live and stuff about me, I guess, when I post on Twitter. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.